guys, Brad Wilson back here at Soulcraft Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Hamden, Connecticut with my friend and training partner here, Jeff Roberts, and uh, I'll show you guys another technique here, okay? Uh, our focus this week has really been on working from the mount here, doing a lot of different, uh, not only maintenance, but, you know, positional things here to maintain the mount, but uh, also a bunch of finishes here. So here's one that we've been working a lot. I hope you like it. Thanks. Okay, so this is a position that I saw Bill Cooper doing. Uh, he's a big competitor here uh, out on the West Coast here. He uses this a lot. And uh, I saw him doing this, and I, and I really liked it, so I started really kind of working on it and incorporating it into my game, okay? So we're here. I'm in a good mount position, all right? I want to put a lot of weight down on this guy. I want to really kind of pressure him. If I'm not wearing a t-shirt here, I can really kind of put that sweaty chest hair right in his face, okay? Make it kind of miserable for him, all right? I want to kind of smother him with my weight here. So I'm in the mount. I'm controlling his head here a little bit because I don't want him to turn too much to one side or the other. So go ahead, Jeff, turn on your side a little bit for me. Okay, so I can keep him a little bit controlled here. If he moves, all right, it's almost like he has those reindeer antlers on. And I'm going to just engage my chest here. So I'm going to bring my chest up here, drop a little bit of the weight here, and just kind of smother him with my chest here a little bit. Make this kind of uncomfortable and unpleasant for him. All right, so much so that when I take the weight off him all at once, and I lean onto my left side here, onto my far side here, okay? Now he's gonna wanna turn toward me once my leg, once I lean and I bring that leg over, he's gonna feel like he's free and he's gonna start to turn. So I'm controlling the head, I'm being a little mean here, and it's a little miserable for him, I'm smothering, it's real unpleasant. I'm gonna come up with all my weight, lean, kick my leg over his head and let him feel like he can turn toward me. Good, he's right there for me, Jeff, okay? So he's turning toward that opening, that space that I gave him, guys, and as he does, I'm gonna shoot my arm deep under that armpit, okay? Dropping my shoulder right into that pocket there, controlling his head, all right? And shoving his arm in deep as I turn the corner, okay? So once we get here, now I can bring my tricep here right in next to my hand and use that to pull his head in and get that rear naked choke grip on my bicep, okay? Just like that. Start on the shallow end of his back, slide up to the other side, as I drop my hips and I sprawl right over that arm. Finish, okay? So really guys, the key on this one is gonna be that timing. It's gonna be that time where I shift the weight and bring the leg over. I've gotta be anticipating my partner turning into me. I've gotta be anticipating him turning toward that opening, all right? So I'm playing real strong here, making this uncomfortable, being a little bit mean, smothering Jeff, turning his head, messing with him a little bit, making it uncomfortable so that when I'm ready to go, all at once, boom, look at that space. See how he turns right into it, shoot. Okay, control the head, all right? Look how my shoulder, guys, is really angled under his armpit, almost like I'm shooting that deep and controlling the back of that head as I turn the corner and stuff. So now it's gonna be easy for me to keep that pressure over his arm here, okay, because my chest is behind it, all right, and I'm on my toes, so it should be very difficult at this point for him to pull that arm out. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now I can just engage that tricep. Boom, grab that bicep with my hand, that rear naked choke grip, start shallow here and slide up, expand my chest, breathe out and sprawl. Okay, alternatively guys, sometimes you'll get to this point and your partner just has a, a, a big shoulder here or they're good at defending or they're really resisting here and you just can't get the hips all the way down here and choke, all right? So when that tends to happen, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just shift my hips toward his leg. So I'm going to sit out. I'm going to block something over here. So whether it's the top leg, okay, or whether it's the bottom half guard here leg, well, it doesn't really matter, all right? I'm just going to block something so he can't come up. Do the same exact grip, and now just nice and easy start to lean into the choke, okay? For the finish. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you uh, checking out our videos. For more information, visit soulcraftbjj.com, and uh, we hope to see you on the mat soon. Thanks.